Hello everybody, this is Skyflight44, aka Zect44, and today we're going to be playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. And I've been busy going and trying to make that deck that I once made that wasn't worth it. I actually found at least one deck, or one deck idea that has actually made Gusto not so bad. And it all revolves around one monster, Kalika, Descendant of Gusto. So when this card is normal, special summon, you can target one Wind Tuner monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target in face-up defense position. Its effects are negated. If you activate this effect, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except Wind Monsters. You can only use this effect of Kalika, Descendant of Gusto, once per turn. The, the fact that you can actually just special summon a winch tuner, in which this doesn't have to be of a specific level, um, on summon, means that we can actually get quite, a, we can really use this. But it's when it's, um, when it's combined with this card here, Overdrive Teleporter where this actually comes to be really fun. See, this card cannot be special summoned. You can pay 2,000 life points to special summon two level 3 psychic type monsters from your deck. This effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field. So, we can go into quite a few different psychic type monsters. The League of the Sense of Gusto being probably the big one I can think of. Other than that, we can go into Mental Seeker, uh, which is just a tuner. And, interestingly enough, is an Earth tuner. We can go into Ghost Fairy Elphobia, who, once per turn, you can reveal one wind monster in your hand until the end of your opponent's next main phase one. Monsters with a level higher than the revealed monster cannot activate their effects. That has some good use, especially if you manage to, let's say, get some of the um, lower level wind monsters that uh, Gusto has, like Gusto Eagle, Gusto Falco, and also Wind of Priestess of Gusto. Outside of that, there is, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Serene Psychic Witch. When this card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can banish one Psychic type monster with 2,000 or less attack from your deck. During your next standby phase, if this card stays in the graveyard, special summon the monster banished by this card's effect. So, the main thing about this is that Gusto cards kind of have the ability to just generate, either flow into or generate. Um, more, more cards in the field, like Palika can get a tuned monster from the graveyard, a lot of tuners can summon, uh, monsters from the deck, and even, like, Winda, Priestess of Gusto, when it's destroyed by battle, can get us a tuner monster, uh, Gusto tuner monster from deck. Therefore, we should have the ability to get Overdrive Teleport onto the field, Outside of using something like emergency teleport, if need be. And from there, we can go into... Uh, we can get two different threes. Um, if we go with uh, Palika, we might be able to get into some other. Like Gusto, um, Synchro Summon. Or we might just be able to go into... Uh, with just Overdrive Teleporter and Mental Seeker. Uh, possibly some of the more powerful, um, like, psychic-type <laughs> synchros, like Hyper Psychic Blaster. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. At the end of the damage step, if this card attacked a defense position monster, and that monster's defense is lower than this card's attack, um, gain life points equal to surplus. Thus, it's going to deal piercing damage, and it's going to give you life points equal to that piercing damage. Which, considering the fact that there is stuff like Psychic Sword um, in the game right now, we can definitely 
increase, at least for once, increase Hyper Psychic Blaster's attack power by quite a bit. And just immediately gain all of our life points back. Outside of that, with the increase of, or with the Psychic type uh, cards basically just generating a bunch of other Psychic type cards, uh, we can use Mind Over Matter to basically tribute and again like have a pretty much an omni gate outside of monster uh effects so there's a lot of good stuff here outside of that there is a light sworn engine to get cards into the graveyard because again you do need a uh, wind tuner in the grave and a lot of gusto cards work with having other gustos in the graveyard and thus um, I have three Raikou, uh, which can also just destroy cards. I have two Jane Light Sworn Pals, and probably the only other Light Sworn I feel is useful in this deck. In which this is actually the. Yeah, this is as strong as any other card in the deck. <laughs> At least not until when you get into the extra deck. And we also have a Charge of the Light Brigade in order to uh, send cards and then grab a Light Sworn to once again send more cards. This one is pretty decent, and there's a bunch of different stuff we can go into. Though, for the most part, I don't really have too many Xyz monsters. Though, if I had a better selection of um, rank 3 Xyz monsters, then overdrive teleporter could just immediately get us into the, like a, quite a few good uh rank threes Ooh, let's see let's go and do a duelist challenge uh we will go and do yeah let's go with kagemaru we're gonna try out mind of the gusto Now, unlike the last deck, actually, unlike the last two decks, this deck, while I do enjoy, is not necessarily a good deck. Again, especially considering we don't yet have a bunch of rank 3s. That, uh, unfortunately, kind of sucks. But I do know where to get them. Uh, usually, I also like going first, but, oh well. So we'll start with Raikou. And we have a Psychokinesis in hand, so as long as we have a Psychotype monster on the field, which for the most part the majority of everything is, I can just destroy a card in the field. Okay. long as he can't just destroy uh, Raikou first. Well, let's see. Um, yeah, it can... There's no battle protection, or there's no real protection on it. Okay, we got uh, one Gusto into the grave. Got one Gusto into the grave, two, and unfortunately these are the ones that draw me cards. <laughs> An emergency teleport isn't exactly what I wanted to see. But, oh well. So, we can summon you. Activate your effects, putting back your other cards into our deck. Draw a card. Okay, uh, Gusto Thunbow. If I can get this and one of the tuners onto the field, I can actually go into uh, Curious the Light Sworn Dominion. Because at that point I have three different monsters of the same attribute, but different types. Which that would be... Or... Yeah, it would just have to be those because I don't... Outside of that, I can technically go into that monster using, I believe, Serene... Psychic Witch, um, 
or like Overdrive, Teleporter, Ryko, and Jane. So let's see. Um, I'm not gonna go with uh, Psychokinesis right now. I'll save it until I actually need to. Because the majority of our deck is all Psychic, so... Okay, Strike Ninja, that's nice. And I do believe you have the ability. Yeesh. Dark Samorg. Yeah, you can banish one Dark Monster and one Wind Monster from your graveyard. Dispatch summon this card from your hand. You can banish one Dark Monster and one Wind Monster from your hand. Special summon the Grave. Your opponent cannot set any cards in the field. That is kind of really powerful. And you do have both, which sucks. Is that, uh, isn't, yeah, that doesn't seem as if you're, um, yeah, it's not a quick effect. But so what should I go about doing? I'm going to... The big thing about this is... It, it can easily recur, but it isn't incredibly powerful. So... Let's go with Psychic Sword. And... Let's attack over it. Okay, that's fine. I just need to be able to get up to 5200. Yeah, but you can. Yeah, that's fine. I could put the well, the dad cam serenity of gusto into my deck, negating the effects, being able to go about setting solemn judgment. Um, I could at that point in time also use psychokinesis, destroy safe zone, and then I can summon gusto thunderbolt. Problem is, at that point in time, I probably wouldn't want... Um, let's go through Destroy Safe Zone. I can set this anyway. Hmm. We're gonna use Gusto Thunball. Actually, now I think I probably should have used Ghost Fairy Alphobia. And then just went about revealing uh, Gusto Thunbolt.
though the big thing is we can oh that's interesting well i'm pretty sure that is at this point in time game uh no We can go Digusto uh, to get into Di Digusto Eagles. We can take that out and then Gusto Thunball. Let's attack in. And then Solemn Judgment. Gonna cut down our life points. Which is all I was really trying to do. That isn't so bad. Can't believe I actually won with the deck. But well, let's go to Fire King Onslaught. We can try it out once more. I've had some amount of... This deck can do some things. It's just not entirely powerful. Okay. Cool. This one's not so bad whatsoever. Um... Hmm. Let's go and not entirely what I want, but let's go through and just set you. I mean, uh, summon you, and that's going to be it. If the card, you know, stays alive, then the card stays alive. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. Eh, that's fine. It's a Fire King monster. You just uh, control is destroyed by a card effect. Okay. Oh, uh, no. That's perfectly fine. We can... Uh, no, I'm pretty sure we could get a Raikou. So, Palika is in Grave. This is fantastic. So, we can Emergency Teleport. We can... Um, let's go and... We'll get Wind of Priestess of Gusto. So, we can tribute it for Windar. Uh... Let's use Psychokinesis as well. Destroying one of these. Okay, Royal Decree. That's fine. Now Psychic Sword is even going to be even more powerful. And we can attack over. Ah, shit. Yeah, that sucks. At least I know what his board is. Oh, 
I was able to go through and attack over it, everything would have worked so well. Hmm. I think this one might... Yeah, Raikou's, now that I think about it, is probably not the best choice. I should have went with Jane. Okay, that's cool. Ujinte. Kagutsuchi. Okay. Yep, we'll destroy this one. Ooh, I liked that. Too bad. <laughs> it wasn't enough. Let's try that again. Yeah, next time I really should get Jane because uh, Raikou's effect's probably not the best option, considering the fact that he is trying to play f um, Fire King. And those things are already supposed to go about uh, destroying their own cards. So we can get Gusto Eagle. And to spook our opponent, we can have Psychic Trigger. Yeah, we spooked our opponent. Okay. So we can Special Summon Polika from deck. Which is going to get us back our... Gusto Ego. This is Falco's the one that made me initially not like this deck. Let's see what could I do now? So, I have the ability to go into this if I can just get out another five stars. I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, Digusto, Eagles, if I get out another three, which I don't have the ability to. At the very least... Digesto Goldos is not going to be useful because I can only destroy uh, my opponent's monsters. So, Digesto uh, Sphere is good for... Would be good for... Um, the fact that it cannot be destroyed by battle. Yeah, your opponent takes any battle damage you would take uh, from battles involving a face-up Gusto monster. Still can't get into it. Actually, let's summon Gusto Falcon. We can go into Digusto Falcos. Then we can go into Digusto. Was it uh, Spheres? Yeah. Threes. And then this can get us back Polika. Yeah, I know. Falco misses timing. I want to see if it misses timing if it's tributed. Otherwise, the only real way I can actually go about getting that is by using Raikou's effect to destroy it. Okay, so that's cool. And then next turn, we can go about using Polika again in order to go into 
uh, five. The big thing is at this point in time, if we can get into Windar, we can recycle Palika, which will also recycle another tuner. Let's get you. This is probably the best option. Just linking off into a uh, great fly. Yeah, I know Gusto's gonna miss timing. Freaking Falco, it's, it, it reads as if it's a wonderful card. If it wasn't for that when effect, or that when wording, it would be fantastic. Nice hands. Yeah, I kind of feel confident about this one. Also, I think I might actually add in another Digusto uh, freeze. Well, uh, let's go about using Gusto Thunderbolt or Thunbolt. Because, it, actually, to be honest, if it wasn't for the fact that uh, I don't have another freeze, then um, going about using Windar, because uh, you can target one level, three or lower Gusto monster in your graveyard, special summon that and face up defense position. It does not negate its effects, though Palika's effect will go off each time you go about doing so. It's just this, this card is kind of weak, so you need some way of getting it a little bit more powerful. Uh, yeah, I do believe that is game. Okay. That's two. That's two different, uh... That's two different challenges we managed to beat with, uh... Alright, though, I... Gonna try Yami Merrick. I can guarantee you that Weevil and Insecta, or Shizu and Spellbook, is going to kick my ass if I attempt to use this Gusto deck. Though I did once, you know, try and hit my head against a wall uh, against that Spellbook deck with my Volcanic deck, and I eventually won. But it was not exactly easy. <laughs> uh, spell books are... Spell books aren't fun to face. Especially when I still don't understand what, like, half the cards do. Okay, so... We can send you... Uh, you're going to be going to the grave pretty soon. So, if it wasn't for the fact that... I don't mind if my opponent just completely... Yeah, that sucks. I was just about to say, I don't mind if my opponent just gets rid of my... Uh... Eagle... And even if he actually managed to get rid of uh, Palika as well, because I could just go about using Windar to continuously recycle them back. Um, I'm gonna use Raiko then. I don't like his back row is a big thing.
Uh, let's see. Well, let's flip you. Let's destroy his last card. Call of the Haunted. We overdrive teleporter is the one I want. I still haven't been able to use that card yet. If... Hmm. Let's go about summoning Oracle of Gusto. We can go into... Trying to figure out what's the best option. Black Rose can just... Well, once cards sync or summoned, you can destroy all cards in the field once per turn. Um, everything else after that doesn't really matter. But the big thing is, once per turn... Or, yeah, I, when sync or summoned, I can just completely nuke the field. I'm actually wondering whether or not Black Rose Moonlight Dragon might be useful. So if this card is special summoned or a level 5 or higher monster is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field, target one special summoned monster your opponent controls, return that target to the hand. I don't know if that one's actually good for me. Uh, yeah, just to get these monsters off the field, I say we go into Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. I don't yet know exactly what my opponent's going to do. But I would very much not like to have all of those weaker cards. Okay, that's cool. My question is... I could... Let's get a little bit cheeky. So I have Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. We'll attack with that. We'll set right go. Ooh. That kind of annoying. Yeah, that's definitely kind of annoying. Oh, well, what I was actually thinking about doing was um, using... I still wouldn't have been able to head over this thing, which means I really should have attacked that. Was use Windar to get... Uh, to destroy something, get eagles back, and then go into... Uh, Gusto... Eagle. Which, at the uh, during my end phase, I can banish one wind monster from my graveyard to target one face down card my opponent controls and destroy it. But oh well. There goes Cyber. What the hell does this thing do? During damage calculation of your opponent's monster attacks while well, this card is in the graveyard, you can pay 1,000 life points, special summon this card, and if you do, you take no battle damage from that battle. Banish this card when it leaves the field. Okay. Uh. Yeah, let's go through and uh, get rid of that.
So we can Raikou, and we can destroy this. Okay, Wenda Priestess of Gusto is now engraved. That's good. We can tribute over Raikou. And then we can attack in. For the most part, we've also equalized our life points. My question is, why would you want Mystic Tomato? You only have one card in hand. So we can use Jane Light Sworn Paladin. Let's attack. The big thing about Black Rose was if my opponent attempted to get that stupid, um, what was it, the uh, Cyber Stego, whatever that card was, I would just be able to bounce it right back. And would, again, once it leaves the field, it's just going to be banished anyway. I think it uh, had some other kind of effect to it. Uh, let's see, and I highly doubt I'm going to be able to do this. Let's see if we can go about beating Weevil with this Gusto deck. I have this feeling I'm not going to be able to beat Weevil with uh, that. Uh, don't feel as if we're going to be able to beat him with this deck, but well... Let's set you. Uh, let's set you. I'm having a feeling on both ends that I'm going to be getting attacked. And... I, I, just, I also have this feeling that I don't think I'm going to be able to do much of anything. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That really does seem as if it sucks. We're gonna go with Ghost Fairy Alphobia. Now we can get Ghost Fairy Alphobia on the field. We can use her effect, revealing Winda. Now, until my opponent's uh, next main phase one, monsters with higher than two cannot act, or <laughs> my opponent's. Um, so monsters of what they level higher than the revealed monster cannot activate their effects. So... Uh, hopefully... Yeah, this should, uh, this should work well. So the big thing is my opponent can't really do much of anything. Uh, let's mind over matter. 
that specifically. Let's see. Yep, that's cool. I do not yet have a wind tuner in the grave. So we're going to summon Musto, Oracle of Gusto, and we're going to attack him. I don't think I was going to be able to, uh, with Elphobia, I wasn't going to be able to actually get Overdrive Teleporter to actually do anything. But, that was fine. So, we're going to go for Overdrive Teleporter. We are going to activate its effects. Uh, being able to get Mental Seeker and Palika to field. Granted, I don't have a wind tuner, so Palika's effect won't go off. However, I can go into Goyo Guardian. Now we can attack. And prevent our opponent from being able to take this. Fine. Yeah, not much that we can do at the moment. Oh, at least Ladybug is away from our opponent's uh, hands. And yeah, that's fine. You can get rid of Teleporter. Oh, look at that. Too bad I don't have anything in my deck right now that I can actually get out. So let's go with Gusto Goldo. We can get Magical Android. Yeah, of course, that's going to miss timing. Now we can destroy this. Bring it to our side of the field. And what are you going to do, Weevil? I'm gaining life points. Okay. So, with this, I can... I can play Palika getting back Gusto Goldo. Which can get me into an 8. The only 8 I have is Thought Ruler Archfiend. Uh, which... Probably not gonna be my best option outside of going into digusto's freeze yeah let's do that instead because then i can get palika back to hand And if we actually win this, I cannot believe we might actually win this with this deck. I wish I had 
uh, Falco instead of uh, Goldo in the grave, though. Actually, I probably shouldn't have went with... No, I think I should not have went with Palika. I should have went with uh, uh, Cam. So that I could start shuffling. I could shuffle back um, my two Palikas. I could then overdrive teleporter and then get them back. Uh, well, hindsight 2020. Two hundred. Still close. I can't believe this works. Mm. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother trying to go into anything. I can't believe that actually worked. We got another Castell. That's cool. I really only ever use one. I I don't think I. There's no way I can go about actually uh, beating uh, Spellbook with uh, this Gusto deck. So what should I actually go after? Pretty much everything, but the keys is. <laughs> Hasn't been used whatsoever. Uh, a bunch of stuff in here really hasn't been used. Everything in here has been more than used. <laughs> um, we could get some more Cyber Dragons, but I'm kind of over that deck for right now. Um, what other cards could we go about uh, benefiting from having? Let's go after Trudge. Six Sam, Aliens. Uh, anything else in here? Oh, chain cards. You don't say. UA as well. And Karakuri. I'm pretty sure I have one of the like main uh, Karakuri or Karakuri um, synchros. Chain Strike, yes. And Dark Knight Parshath. Oh, that's lovely. That really is lovely. Hmm. Spiral as well. Goyo Predator. So when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can special summon that monster to your side of the field, but any battle damage it inflicts to a player is halved. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that one's still not nearly as good as Goyo Guardian, but that's, uh, that's fine. This doesn't require an Earth Tuner. Okay, she and Dark Voltanus. After a counter trap card you control has been activated and resolved, you can tribute one dark monster to special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned in this way, destroy one card in the field. Okay, that's not necessarily too useful to us. Unless I started running dark monsters in that deck. And uh, nothing that's really catching my eye. Well, I think I might have found something that is worth while <laughs> trying to see. Knight, uh, Knight's End Sorcerer. And this card is special summoned. You can target up to two cards in your opponent's graveyard. Banish that. Okay, that's cool. Tuner as well. Uh, shock Troops of the Ice Barrier. You can tribute this card to select one face of water monster on the field, destroy it, and add one Ice Barrier monster from your deck to your hand. 
I do have... In that case, I would have... It wasn't DNA surgery, but the other card that basically makes it so that everything is um, the one attribute instead of the one type. Trishula, on the other hand, is just a really good card. I can definitely go about throwing this into of my gusto deck just because again like uh i can off of um overdrive teleporter i can technically get into um two threes that aren't tuners and with palika get into another three um in not eagles of falco but the other one which can get us into trisha the dragon of the ice barrier that's kind of, you know, you require quite a bit, but it sounds fun. And we've seen this one a few times. Your opponent battle phase and all monsters you control it and all monsters you controlled at the start of this battle phase, minimum two have been destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. You can special summon this card from your hand. All summoned if summoned this way, choose an attribute and destroy all face up monsters with that attribute. Only cannot normal or special summon monsters with the attribute. What? The hell? Granted, that requires quite a bit of... That does require a bit. Well, that's nice. This card destroys monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard. Gain life points equal to the defense of the destroyed monster. I can get that off of a psychic monster. So that's um, not all that uh, very good. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually thinking about seeing if I can make ice barriers work. I highly doubt it. Call me stupid, call me crazy, but I kind of want to do it. Uh, okay. Okay, hey, Pilgrim of the Ice Bears. Car cannot be destroyed by battle with monster 1900 or more attack. Yeah, ice berries aren't very good. I don't know how I'm going to make that deck work. Oh, well, have a nice day, everybody.